I don't know, the last time I talked to you, we kind of did a powwow on on some of this AS3 stuff. Yeah. And then you went off and disappeared. Yeah, I, I really guess. did. Dis I disappeared like uh, from my entire life. I basically quit my life before. <laughs> right. You went deep dive kind of into as much AS3 as you could get your yeah. head into. Yeah. Because you want to build this game. So this is all AS3. Everything. This is all AS3, yeah. Um, this would be like the mothership. and. Uh, and you would be, as long as you're in this mothership, you'd be shifting through dimensions. And when you, when you look like you're in a dimension you want, you grab onto the front, it's another squeezing interface, and you can pop out your ship, and he can go and explore uh, this world. And for instance, like the world we were just in. And when he's done, you know, he's done exploring, finding things out, he follows the arrows back to the mothership, and flies up the butt of the mothership, and goes back into this dimensional <laughs> shifting paradigm. I haven't finished that one yet, but... Uh, so all of that stuff, you know, you have like a, a, a class. I mean, I don't want to bring this back, but you have no, a class. No, I do want you to bring this back. For the, for the ship itself, and do you have a class for the arms and stuff? Is that I have a class. I have a, yep, it? I have a class for the arms. I have, I, have a I have a class. The ship itself has a base class of ship. Like, mm -hmm. here's, here's a good example. This is the, the, sh the shop that I build all my ships in. So we've got this ship. We've got all these different ships. And you can, you can swap them out at runtime. You can swap out their skin. You can swap out their engine management system, like their handling. Like it's broken down into all these different parts. So I can build, you know, I can turn on, uh, an, give it an AI brain. Like right now it's got AI, like I'm not controlling it. Oh, it, it flies yeah. around on its own <laughs> and does its own thing. Um, and I can, you know, change to hair, an updated version of Hairdryer Man. Ooh. Or I can go back to manual control and swaps, out the, swaps out the brain with a set of keyboard controls instead. So it's, it, it's, it's taken it from this very small world to something that I can now swap parts in and out. And it's given me the flexibility to build it out into this larger thing. So I'm really just starting on this journey, but basically, um, thanks to you for um, teaching me this stuff, and uh, Man, it's been endless, endless to, amounts of fun. I feel lucky to have any part in the production of Hair Dryer Man. Sweet. To be honest with you, <laughs> you'll be in the credits, dude.